Well, hello, and welcome once again to the No Opinion News Network, where we give you the news and leave our opinion at the door. I'm your host, Chris, and this is your Thursday, December 17th, daily news briefing. How's everyone doing out there? If I can ask, please like and subscribe. That's all I ever ask for. And if you want to leave a comment, do that also. If I um, give you some information that you're not quite clear about, I'll definitely clarify in the comment section for you. All right. Well, as we know, this week has been big for stimulus talks. So let's uh, jump right in. Um, it's looking like the $600 stimulus check per adult and an additional $600 per dependent is on the table and it looks like it's going to go. Um, that doesn't just mean like last time, for example, myself, I have a college age dependent. I didn't get, re I didn't get anything for him, but this time around college age dependents are included in the talks right now. So it looks like if you have a kid in college or if you have a, a senior dependent, um, that's living with you, you will get $600 for them. Uh, there's been rumors about $700, not sure. I think it was Senator John Thune that said that, but um, not really sure if that's going to happen. Maybe they're saying that as an extra hundred for lower income people. So there's a possibility of it because it was mentioned, but I'm sticking with the $600. That's what's looking good right now. Um Senator Thune also said that the $600 is actually one of the holdups and that's why it's taking a little longer because some want to go higher, but they're afraid if they try and go higher at this point, the bill's not going to pass. So the main thing is, is they need to get this, uh, push this bill through and get it passed quickly. So looks like they're going to be working through the weekend. And hey, good for us. It's about time that the people we pay to work for us do some work over the weekend. I know I've put in some long hours just looking up information just to share with you uh, over the weekend. So, hey, that's fair. It does look like they have to extend the deadline once again. Um, the deadline was extended till tomorrow, the 18th. There was rumors that they were going to do a stopgap and extend it to the 23rd, Thursday. But now they're saying, let's just get this all done and, and extend it to the, um, what is the 18th, 19th, 20th, to the tw Sunday, the 20th. That way they can have, a, I guess, a few days before Christmas to be with their family. Um, so expect something done by the end of Sunday night. Let's see. An additional 1.4 million people filed for unemployment last week. So just on this information alone, it's, it's obvious that we need something because even though the vaccine is there, it, the, we're not going to see any effects from the vaccine for another four to five months, six, seven months, who knows? So it's not like the cases are going to magically go away today because vaccine was approved last week and Moderna's vaccine is going to be approved today so the cases just disappear it doesn't work like that unfortunately we're still going to be living with this for I would say probably another year so we're going to see more unemployment we're going to see more layoffs all the way through until you know we there's a difference in the number of cases being reported and people dying so that's going to be still still a little bit more time on that. Um, but good news, along with the $600 uh, stimulus check, there is also the $300 enhanced unemployment benefit. What that is, is if your regular unemployment is $300 from the state, you would receive that and you would also receive $300 on top of it. So you would receive $600 a week, which is a, definitely a more livable wage. Don't forget, you got to pay taxes on that. So 
put, put a little bit aside or you're going to be hurting come the end of the year. The stark, the, the stock market riding a high, looking good today um, because of the news that um, the stimulus bill may pass very soon. So it, it's looking good for the stock market. I, once again, I, th I think it's at its highest point. I, I wouldn't think it'd be too wise to take any crazy risk right now because there's still a chance that we could uh, do a little dive bomb. As far as my confidence meter, yesterday I was 60 to 70. Uh, I think I'm getting closer to 75% right now on, the, on them passing this uh, stimulus package. So we'll see what happens. Um, on to COVID quickly. Uh, French President Macron has tested positive for COVID. Um, the U.S. broke another record yesterday for deaths. We had over 3,500 deaths according to Worldometers. Uh, like I said earlier, Mo Moderna's uh, vaccine is expected to pass for their, their emergency use authorization today. Um, and let's look at uh, what we got going on with the numbers here. Okay, so as far as current hospitalizations, still on the rise. As you can see right here, we are at 13,000 and 90 currently hospitalized due to COVID. Uh, 21,936 are in the intensive care units and 7,778 are currently on ventilators. So that's still going up. And that's, like I said, that's gonna continue to go up until enough people get vaccinated and that time period, the general public probably won't see anything until April as far as uh, the vaccination being available to them and then it's going to take time so I'm looking at November is what I'm thinking all right as far as the new cases in the U.S. right here we are averaging 220,017 yesterday was a big day in not a good sense um, we had more cases, more deaths worldwide and in the U.S. And as you can see, if I drop back a day, it's 216 average and close to 217 average yesterday and jumped up to 220. So the average daily cases dropped, jumped up 3,000 in just one day. If we move on down here to the deaths, you can see this big uh, spike right here. That was yesterday's deaths, 3,538. And if we look at the average, seven day moving average, we are up to averaging 2,570 deaths daily in the US. And then if we move over here to worldwide cases, you can see that we are currently averaging 638,574. Uh, once again, a big jump from yesterday. If I move back one day, 629,000. So about uh, over 9,000 more a day average from yesterday. So that's a pretty big jump. And now let's move on to the daily deaths worldwide. We are averaging worldwide 11,306 worldwide so if we jump back a day looks like we went up almost 150 more deaths from yesterday averaging and this average right here is a seven day moving average basically they take seven days add it up the amount of deaths and then they divide it by seven and then you have your average daily deaths so even though you could have less deaths one day today than you did yesterday your average still could go up if you had less the uh uh, a lot less deaths the week before. So it's just based on a seven day moving average. One second, I dropped my notes. All right. So that's where we are with COVID right now. Still, still rising, it's gonna continue to rise. But just a quick recap, they will work through the weekend to get something. It looks like they are gonna have something by Sunday. They have to get something for COVID relief 
and they have to avoid a government shutdown. So all this happens this weekend, but they're pushing it back to Sunday. So good news is because of the deadlines, I think that'll benefit us. They're going to hurry to get things done. Um, so say there's something that maybe somebody wants to put in, but somebody doesn't agree a hundred percent with, but it's good for the people. Maybe because of how they have to hurry up and get it done. Somebody might say, you know what, go ahead and give them that money. It's okay. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I don't think there's going to be any more breaking news on this today. I think that's where we're at. They're just uh, putting the puzzle together. And um, we should have a finalized puzzle any day now. And then it'll be sent for votes in the House, Senate, and then sent to the President. I really do appreciate you watching. That's all I got for today. My name's Chris, and this has been your daily news briefing for Thursday, December 17th. Hey, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.